So now let's look at a slightly different bridge design uh, called the cable stayed structure. So this is the Zaycom Bridge in Boston. So we have two main towers, and now we have cables that run out and tie directly into the roadway in a pattern like this. And now each tower is arranged so that the forces pulling on it to the left and the right are such that all the load of the bridge is taken by this tower vertically uh, going down into the ground. So we can see with a slightly different view how the cables tie directly into the roadway to hold it up. And we see from another view here is that the structure of this particular bridge is quite uh, three-dimensional. So that you see the cables running to the outside of the roadway on one side, the inside of the roadway on the other. Here's another massive cable stayed structure uh, in France. And so here we see many towers with the same kind of triangle pattern showing up with again the cables running out left and right to each tower so that all the load of the bridge that this thing is holding up is going down in the ground through this tower. Here we see a slightly different view. In this structure, we see that the uh, cables are quite two-dimensional. They just run down to the roadway, uh, unlike in the previous example. So again, these cables are kind of serving the same function as in the suspension bridge, but a slightly different configuration. So now let's analyze uh, how these bridges work. Here I have a nice symmetrical structure on a post holding up my roadway. So we'll assume that the cables have equal loads on them, so that they're load P acting downward at each point here. So there's six units lo of load, meaning there's six units of load acting back up here at the center point. So let's label the regions between our loads. So the space above I'll call A, B, C. Regions in the interior space, with numbers. Okay, so now I need to draw my load line. So let's uh, line up with our vertical here. In the interest of space, I'm gonna use a half inch for my scale. So this will be my load line. So in the middle, I'm gonna uh, put point A a to B, we go down one unit. B to C, we go down one unit. C to D, we go down one unit. D to E, we go up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. E, F, G. Okay, so now let's just work this uh, one just as we have with other uh, examples in the past. So, uh, point, first thing we need to locate point one. Uh, so if we think about here, we have our vector downwards A to B. We have this cable pulling at that angle, and then a load B to 1, which is going to be uh, horizontal. So the vector coming out of B to 1 is going to be horizontal. Coming out of A is going to be the angle of the cable, where those two lines intersect is point 1. Now we come to this node here and draw our, our little force triangle. So C is going to connect to point 2 through a horizontal line. 1 and 2 are going to connect at this angle here. Point 3 will also be easy to find. Another horizontal line connecting to point 3. And align this particular angle here of that cable. So where those two lines intersect is point three. Okay, now let's go to the other side. Uh, A is gonna connect to point six. Do an angle like that. And so it's gonna be the exact same thing, uh, just kind of by symmetry. Now if I've done things right, three and four should be connected by a vertical force of six units. And so 
slightness uh, off a little bit there, but we see we got the basic structure right. So here's the form, here are the forces. And we can note a few things about uh, the forces. So one is again, if we measure the length of any line, uh, it gives us the, ten the force uh, in that member. So these t cables will all be in tension. Uh, so we could just measure the length of those and get the tension. Uh, there's gonna be a force kind of, these cables are gonna be pulling the roadway inwards. And so that compressive force in sections D3 and E4, so this section and this section are quite a bit higher than out here. So the roadway, you, you want to be able to withstand those compressive forces near the tower. So they're gonna kind of accumulate uh, near the tower. And that's really all there is to it. 